I can hear you say that I'm the one. At times I feel your lips press close to mine, but what good has that dreaming done? Welcome to the Antique Music Mall. I am your guest host. My name is Christina. And this podcast features only terrific songs. Every song we play will have two very special distinctions. The songs in this show span a total of 58 years, with the oldest song we play being nearly 90 years old. Feel free to guess along with us. We will reveal the double common theme after we play five songs. The first romantic song was the theme to the Disney animated movie, Aladdin where it was used as the love song between Aladdin and Princess Jasmine. It's called A Whole New World, or Aladdin's Theme. In the movie, this song was performed by Brad Kane and Leah Salanga, who were the singing voices of Aladdin and Princess Jasmine. However, Peebo Bryson and Regina Bell's version was the single. At the 36th Grammy Awards held in 1993, This song was nominated for Record of the Year, but lost out to Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. The composer, Alan Menken, and lyricist, Tim Rice, won the Grammy for Song of the Year, A Whole New World, and also won another Grammy for Best Song Written Specifically for Motion Picture or TV. Peebo Bryson and Regina Bell went on to win the Grammy for Best Pop Performance by a Duo or Group. It remained on the pop chart for 23 weeks. Let's enjoy hearing Peebo and Regina. I can show Your heart desire. I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder, over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no Or where to go Or say we're only dreaming A whole new world A dazzling place I never knew But now from way up here It's crystal
Our second song is from 1935, and it's called Lullaby of Broadway. This song has been recorded by at least 160 different singers or groups over the years, with the last rendition by Cherry Poppin' Daddies only eight years ago. This version by the Dorsey Brothers Orchestra may be the most popular version of this song. The vocal is performed by Bing Crosby's younger brother, Bob. With music written by Harry Warren and lyrics by Al Dubin, this is Lullaby of Broadway. go back to the 80s, 1987 to be exact. This song hit the top 10 twice in the UK. First in 1987, when the movie Dirty Dancing was released in theaters, and again in 1990 after the movie was shown on British TV. It went to number eight this time. Taylor Hicks and Catherine McPhee sang the song for their final duet, during the 2006 season of American Idol. In a 2018 interview with Song Facts, Jennifer Warren said, I think this song was an accident that just blossomed. Nobody thought it would be this huge. It was just a surprise. And we did our best, Bill and I. The movie was great, still popular, and always will be. But I've thought about it. And I wondered why the whole world loves it so much. And I think the answer is because it's real joyful. If you take the joy out of that song, it's not a hit. This is Bill Medley and Jennifer Warren singing, 
I've had the time of my life. Now I've had the time of my life. No, I never felt like this before. Yes, I swear it's a truth. And I owe it all to you. Cause As we come back to the 1930s, we present The Way You Look Tonight from 1936. The music was written by Jerome Kern and lyrics by Dorothy Fields. 
A Version by the Letterman was a number 13 hit in 1961. In fact, we are aware of this song being featured in at least nine television shows and seven movies sung by various recording artists over the years. But we will next play what we consider to be the definitive version of this song. If you've never heard Fred Astaire sing this song, you are in for a treat. He is better known as a dancer, but as a singer, he had 36 pop hits spanning the years 1929 through 1951. this song, we will reveal the double theme of this podcast. Berlin is an American new wave band formed in LA in 1978. The band gained commercial success in the 1980s with a few singles, but none bigger than this next song from 1986. It was written by acclaimed Italian composer Giorgio Moroder, with lyrics by American songwriter Tom Whitlock. Most synthesizer-based hits of this era were up-tempo tunes, but this was a rare synth ballad. It worked because the drone that plays throughout the song creates an unusual rhythm that makes the vocals stand out. The song's success proved to be a double-edged sword for Berlin. Lead singer Terry Nunn was ecstatic when the ballad brought the band worldwide acclaim and enabled them to tour internationally. But Berlin founding member John Crawford 
resented being saddled with an unoriginal hit they'd be expected to perform for the rest of their career. Terry Nunn said it was one of the nails in the coffin that ended the band in 1987. This is You Take My Breath Away by Berlin. that all these songs were from movies, you would be correct. But more than that, every one of these songs won an Academy Award for the songwriters. And the second part of this theme, every song was a number one hit on Billboard's pop chart. This does not happen as often as you might think. At the 65th Academy Awards in 1992, a whole new world 
from the animated film Aladdin, won the Best Song Oscar for Alan Menken and Tim Rice. It was a number one hit for Peebo Bryson and Regina Bell during the week of March 6, 1993. For two weeks in the spring of 1935, the Dorsey Brothers Orchestra scored a number one hit with Lullaby of Broadway. This song came from the movie Gold Diggers of 1935 and won the Best Song Oscar for Harry Warren and Al Dubin at the 8th Academy Awards in 1935. Fast forward over half a century, and I've Had the Time of My Life by Bill Medley and Jennifer Warrens was a number one hit during the week of November 28, 1987. It won the Best Song Oscar for the movie Dirty Dancing at the 60th Academy Awards that year. The Way You Look Tonight, from Swing Time, recorded by Fred Astaire, was extremely popular in 1936. His smooth, polished, sophisticated delivery is unmatched. Jerome Kern and Dorothy Fields won the Best Song Oscar that year at the 9th Academy Awards ceremony. It was a number one song for six non-consecutive weeks beginning October 3rd. And finally, from the original Top Gun movie, Giorgio Moroder and Tom Whitlock's Take My Breath Away won the Best Song Oscar at the 59th Academy Awards in 1986. The group Berlin took that song to a number one during the week of September 13th that year. So let's continue. It's now 1940, and in the animated Disney film Pinocchio, Cliff Edwards introduces When You Wish Upon a Star as Jiminy Cricket. Cliff Edwards actually released a top 10 version of that song in 1940, but it never reached number one. Glenn Miller's version did for five weeks during the spring of 1940. The vocal refrain was by Ray Eberly. This song won the Best Song Oscar at the 13th Academy Awards that year for songwriters Lee Harlan and Ned Washington.
At the 58th Academy Awards in 1985, Lionel Richie did it all. He not only wrote the music and lyrics for this next Oscar-winning song, he also sang it, taking it to number one for four weeks during the end of 1985 into 1986. It's from the movie White Nights, starring Mikhail Baryshnikov, Gregory Hines, Geraldine Page, and Helen Mirren. This is Say You, Say Me. We are now in the middle of World War II in 1943. Men are fighting and dying, while those left behind share the anguish. This song maintained the number one position for seven weeks that summer. It was sung by one of the most popular male vocalists of the 1940s and early 1950s, Dick Hames. 
At the 16th Annual Academy Award, Harry Warren wins the second of his three Best Song Oscars. Mac Gordon, the lyricist, shared the honor. This is You'll Never Know. You'll never know just how much I miss you. You'll never know just how much I care. And if I try. I still couldn't hide my love for you. You ought to know, for haven't I told you so? A million or more times you went away in my heart, went with you. I speak your name in my every prayer. If there is some other way to prove that I love you, I swear I don't know how. You'll never know if you don't. The 54th Academy Awards held in 1981, the best original song was Arthur's Theme, Best That You Can Be. For songwriters Peter Allen, Burt Bacharach, Christopher Cross, and Carol Bayer Sager, credited for music and lyrics. That song was the number one pop hit for three weeks in the autumn of 1981 for Christopher Cross. Let's hear that song from the movie Arthur, with Dudley Moore playing Arthur and Liza Minnelli as his love interest. Once in your life you find her, someone who turns your heart away. Next thing you know, you're closing down the town. Wake up and it's still with you. Even though you left your way across town, wondering to yourself, hey, what have I found? When you get caught between the moon and New York City, I know. 
Next, we are going to play the very first song ever to win the Academy Award for Best Original Song. Keep in mind that the Academy Awards began in 1927, the first year sound was used in movies. In 1934, at the seventh Academy Awards ceremony, the best song was The Continental from The Gay Divorcee, starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. For two weeks in the fall of 1934, this song was the number one pop hit for Leo Reisman and his orchestra. The vocal chorus on this original shellac 10-inch 78 recording was by Leo Reisman. Here is the Continental, You Kiss While You're Dancing, with music by Con Conrad and lyrics by Herb Magidson. <laughs> The movie is An Officer and a Gentleman from 1982. The Oscar goes to Jack Nietzsche and Buffy St. Marie for music and Will Jennings for lyrics. And Jennifer Warrens is back atop the pop chart this year, except this time she shares the microphone with Joe Cocker. For three weeks during November 1982, this song is Billboard's number one pop hit. Let's hear that Oscar winner. Up where we belong. is long 
There were mountains in our way But we climb still every day The lift is up where we belong Where the eagles cry On the mountain high The lift is up where we belong Far from the world below Up where the clear winds blow Our time gone already. Time flies when you're having fun. Our last song of this podcast, the Oscar winning song that held on to the number one spot on the pop chart the longest, eight weeks during the summer of 1950. It was presented in 1951 at the 23rd Academy Awards to songwriters Ray Evans and Jay Livingston. The movie was Captain Carey, USA. There have been over 300 instrumental and vocal versions of this song released over the years. But we conclude with Nat King Cole's definitive version, which in fact was only one of seven charting versions released in 1950. And not the first. Actually, it was the fifth charting version released that year, but the only one that topped Billboard's pop chart. Thank you for staying with us till the end. We had some great songs in this edition. I am your host, Christina. Maybe we'll meet again. Keep listening to great music. Mona Lisa men have named you You're so like the lady with the mystic smile Is it only cause you're lonely They have blamed you For that Mona Lisa strangeness 
in your smile Do you smile to tempt a lover Mona Lisa Or is this your way To hide a broken heart Many dreams Have been brought to your doorstep They just lie there And they die there Are you warm? Are you real? Mona Lisa Are just a cold and lonely Lovely work of art Smile to tempt the lover, Mona Lisa. Or is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there. And they die there Are you warm? Are you real? Mona Lisa Are just a cold and lonely Lovely work of art Mona Lisa Mona 